friends uh, in this video we are going to discuss about how we can validate the status code using rest assured java okay so i'm gonna explain you the step by step process here uh, what are the dependencies we needed what is a request link i'm using and all those things i'm putting in the description so that it will be really helpful for you to again um, again uh, repeat the same process okay so let me get started here i have taken a one sample uh, project that is called rest and uh, here in my pom class if you see i have added two things here one is rest assured that is of 3.2.0 and groovy of 2.5.4 version these two i have added so let me update them rest assured of what type rest assured of uh, uh, 3.2.0 and uh, groovy scripting groovy of 2.5.4 okay so if you go to maven repository um, if you go to maven repository you will find all those things here okay this is the one i am using 2.5.4 of groovy scripting okay and the latest version of testng sorry latest version obviously testng as well as rest assured here okay so um, and other thing is like the request URL that I am using is Postal Code India. Okay, if you just go here, Postal Code. This again I am going to put in the description as well. This is a request that they have given. So I have replaced that request. I have given this one. Uh, that header that is uh, that is nothing but a path parameter that we are going to discuss in a short while. The pin code. Okay, and this is a response I got. Okay. That means I got a valid response. That means I should be getting 200 as a status code that we are going to see how we can get and how to print this body as well. Okay. So let me get started here. I have taken this particular thing. I have taken the same URL here in, in a string. Okay. This is an empty class of testng I have invoked here. Okay. Imported testng. Then what I am going to do is First, let me import this particular thing for the get import. Let me take it as static and um, Ivo dot rest assured dot rest assured dot. Let me use get here, okay? Because I am using the get thing. So here in get of URL. Then what I'll be doing is like I'll be sending the then here, okay? Then assert dot because I'm checking the asset here and status code of 200, okay? Then let me print everything log dot all, okay? This log what it does is like it will print everything to the screen, the response and all once the status code 200 is matching if not matching then it will throw the error okay so let me run this and see what's happening so i'm running it as test ng here test ng test now you can see i could find that uh, it found the detected test ng version 6.1.4 and if i maximize it here now you can see I could able to run this particular test, no failures and no skips. So if I go here, this is a body that I am getting. Why I am getting this body is like because I am using the uh, entire thing here. You can see this is the entire body I am getting because I am using the particular uh, log function here. Okay, and I am getting this body. So uh, because so I am getting the proper. Uh, contents here okay so let me minimize it and if i try to do something like 201 it is nothing but a new uh, response new resource created in the server side here no resource is created because we are only reading the resources from the server side okay so i should be getting a failure here okay let me see that now you can see we got a failure here we run one and we got a failure why we got a failure is you can see expected status of status code 200, 201 expected but it was 200 so what it is trying to say is like you are expecting a status code of 201 okay but 
it is but we found only 200 this is what is trying to say here okay so let me remove this one as well okay if i remove this log i'll be getting only the error code okay let me try that with 200 as well here i'll be getting the same error code but i want to show what happens if i remove the log okay for the status code of 200 as well now you can see the same error might get printed yeah because last time execution not went till this uh, till the log statement now it will pass so uh, let me show what will happen if i remove the log here um, now you can see status code passed status code run and failure so it's not logging anything so that's a main use of log as well so uh, what we have learnt in this case so response body using log log dot all we got the response body and status code experiments assert dot status code we we explored these things here let me put it here and request body request link uh, this is a request link i have utilized so let me copy and put it here so i'm gonna put entire information into the description of the video so that it would be really helpful for you guys thank you so much and if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel for more videos thank you